Welcome to our feature clip highlighting the enhancements to the Pervasive Analytics Designer in SAP Business One Release 9.2. A number of improvements have been implemented in the Pervasive Analytics Designer to give the users more flexibility to analyse data and build more powerful dashboards. You can use legend colour to split data by an additional dimension, displayed in different colours within a graphic. We have also added additional data types to help you review data in more detail. We now have a time slider function which allows a user to select the exact time frame you would like to analyse your data across. And more calculation types can now allow you to display not only the original values but also calculated values such as cumulative sums or averages. So let's see a typical business scenario where you would leverage these features. Jason Butler is the sales manager at OEC Computers and he is responsible for the JB Office Print product line. He would like to analyse the sales data for his products. Firstly, Jason would like to compare the products to see which has been selling better over the past few years. He would then like to review quarterly sales for each of these products. To also see quarterly trends, Jason would like to review product sales in recent quarters. And finally, he would like to review the cumulative quantity of sold items to get an indication of market penetration. So let's see how Jason reviews his sales data in SAP Business One Release 9.2 using the Pervasive Analytics Designer. We're now logged in to SAP Business One Release 9.2 as Jason Butler, the Sales Manager for OEC Computers. The first thing Jason's going to do is he's going to open up the Pervasive Analytics Designer so he can create his new dashboard. We select New Dashboard and the next step is to select your data source for your new dashboard. We're now ready to create our new dashboard. Now that we're in our dashboard designer for SAP Business One release 9.2, Jason would like to compare what he has sold across his JB Office Print product line over the past few years. To do this, we first need to select a target measure. And the first thing we're going to drag across into our target measure is the line quantity. And the line quantity is essentially the quantity sold. The next step is to select our target dimension. We're going to select our document date because we'd like to review what we've sold over the past few years. And by default, our target dimension document date is by year. Now with the new legend color feature, you can compare products directly within the one graph. So in this case, we're going to select item name and we're going to drag it into the target legend color box. And now we're going to select the products we would like to compare. And in this case, it's the three office print lines. Now we have a direct comparison across each of those products and their results over the last few years. If you would like to review these figures quarterly, we simply need to change the target dimension from year to year quarter. You also have the ability to change the target dimension by year month or by year week. And in this case, we're going to select year quarter. Jason's actually only interested in the last three quarters. And to easily display the last three quarters, we can enable the new time slider function. This will give you the ability to easily select and narrow down the actual time frame in which you would like to review your sales data. So here we can actually now see over the last three quarters the results of each of these products. Lastly, Jason would like to review the cumulative number of items sold over the past few years. We can simply do this by selecting our target measure sum and with the addition of new calculation types we can now select for example cumulative sum, minimum, maximum, average or count and in this case we're going to select the cumulative sum. 
So now we have the ability to review what we have sold up until now for each unit that we're comparing within our graph. Thank you for your time and make sure you check out what's new in our Feature Clips highlighting SAP Business One Release 9.2.